Hey, welcome back to the Milton Price Report. Chuck Charlton here. This is the November 2013 edition. And uh, I had a cold last week. I don't sound so good. I feel fine. You've probably had that before in the past. A uh, bit of news. We had our grand opening for our office. Uh, we've been around for a couple months, but we had everybody in. Bouncy Castle Food. We had a ton of, of really uh, great memories from that. So I'm going to put a, a link to the video down below. And we also did a costume contest. And so I'll put a link to our Facebook page as well. Uh, very fun times. And I was saying to my wife that the only time that I can remember that many people that I care about and that care about us uh, getting together in one place was our wedding uh, 10 years ago. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you can kind of share in that moment with us. And if you're ever in the area, we're around Bronte and Laurier. We're in the new Green Life building. And that's an exciting project too, because the building actually takes in more energy than it uses. And so it's really a new way of building. Uh, it's Delridge, who's a local builder, Dave De Silva, and uh, it's a it's a really nice project to be a part of, and we're only the second team in Ontario with Royal Page to ever have our own satellite team off. It's about a thousand square feet, and really the result of ten years of really working hard and uh, and treating people well and getting a lot of support. It didn't happen with just us, that's for sure. So our team is four. There's three licensed agents plus a full time admin, and, uh, and and we've been in Milton since 2005. The report itself, I mean, even if the same home down the street sold, same model as yours sold last week, you can't even guarantee that that's a true representation of the value of your home because there's so many factors. There's the seller's motivation. There's the competition at the time when they were listed. Um, so take the report and the individual sales with a grain of salt. And so really the missing link, I think, for most people is the interpretation is really just being able to look at the big picture and say, OK, here's the, the plan and the process to get from where you are to where you want to be. Now, if you look at the actual numbers this month, they've all done better. The townhouses, 53 sales, 56 new listings, so almost everything that came out sold much better than September where only 70% of that happened. Days on the market went up a little bit in October, but we saw far better results in terms of the percentage of homes that sold. Semi-detached, 25 and 25, so we're seeing a good, healthy, uh, way back in July, we had 34 sales with only 14 new listings, so it swallowed up all the old inventory. It seems like the summer frenzy for semis has really continued in a big way. 13 days on the market is even greater than the 19 for townhouses. And then detached homes took a step up, and uh, so August was a great month, and then we saw September fall. October is back to about 55%, and we saw the percent of list go up a little bit higher at 98, whereas it was 97 before. Days on the market went down a little bit. Condo townhouses, condo apartments are a little, the sample size isn't as much. We're dealing with four or five listings, that kind of thing. So it's not always the robust numbers that we see. So that's why there can be some variation with, uh, with some of these numbers, but pretty much par for course. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, condo apartments, we had more sales than new listings. And that's a price point thing. These two tend to float within the entry point of, uh, of homes. And then we start to see the freehold homes and so on. So all pretty much standard. And that's the thing. If you look at the Milton market in uh, October compared to the rest of the year, it's remarkably similar. Uh, October was 60% of sales compared to new listings, whereas the, the year to date was 627 so days on the market, 22, 23, very, very similar. So we're seeing a lot of stability in Milton. Uh, nothing is really frenzied, although there are certain homes that when they come out, they certainly get a lot of attention. And uh, in some cases, multiple offers. The conditions that have to be there for a multiple offer is really you need a scarcity of supply. You can't have a ton of inventory. You need to be move-in ready, and you need to be at a price point and, and a range where people are really looking like that's why you don't see multiple offers with horse farms. It's just such a niche product. So you need to be a little bit towards the bell curve. Even the stuff over 750, very hard to generate that interest unless it has a very unique feature uh, like backing onto a forest or something like that. Um, 
so anyways, we've got the individual sale links uh, right down below the video so you can choose the kind of home that you have and then just see what's happened in the last 60 to 90 days for homes just like yours. And so this chart shows that it's pretty much business as usual. The October numbers went up a little bit, the average sale. And what we've seen is sometimes October's up. There was the one year uh, back in 2008 where we started to see the market just kind of slide down. Uh, and obviously that recovered since then. Uh, interesting to see what happens in the month of November, December, certainly a function of weather and what's going on outside. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things can dictate the behavior of the market in November, December. Uh, I'll give you a comparison that I think is valid is that last year I had a home for sale just over $400,000. It was a semi-detached. And at the time, there were over 100 listings within $50,000. I checked that same price range Almost year to date today, there were 38 and eight of them had offers on. So I think we've seen a, a, a remarkable difference in the amount of supply and the amount of choices. And I think in most price ranges, we've got buyers that are just waiting for the right home because the inventory that's there is not always the most exciting. So I think really the tale of Milton right now is that you come out, you've got a good product, and if it's put out there the right way, I think it gets a lot of attention. And then you've got this baseline of homes that have kind of been sitting there for a while. And, uh, and, and so that's really it, is that the, the, the lack of supply is helping a lot of homes right now achieve pretty good numbers. And so if you look at this list, I mean, we helped sell the, the most expensive home in New Milton last year in July on Jarvie Crescent. We've got to Adam Candice here. And so just read some stories about people and their experiences with us if, uh, if you're interested in how we go about you know, helping people buy and sell. Uh, you, of course, you're on the website, so you know where to go, and you can see all the recent sales activity, just like I said, right below in the links. And so below that, there's three next steps that you can take. You can ask for a pinpoint price analysis. And so what we do is really give you some information. And the problem is I think a lot of people tell you what you want to hear. Uh, we don't do that on our team. So what we do is we'll even guarantee in writing to sell at the price in 60 days or less. And a lot of our coaching around pricing is really related to what do you think a buyer would pay for this home? Because I think some people take such a, a centric point of view as to say, okay, well, it's my home. It's worth this. Well, it's worth what a buyer's willing to uh, to give you and also what you'd accept. So we really do a lot of coaching around the uh, the mindset of pricing and, uh, and, and certainly providing some great information. Second thing is a room by room review. And on average, we usually can get people about two to three times what they spend, if any, in terms of money, in some cases, five or 10 times but on average but d double to triple so that's pretty substantial if you could invest five thousand make ten thousand if you could invest fifty dollars and make 150 those are all good things in, in the grand picture because I don't know about you but my RRSPs are not returning money like that so you have a, a really interesting tax-free opportunity to leverage an investment in your home before selling it that can uh, that can be much more profitable for you and the last thing is the silent market of homes we have a huge mailing list over at Milton Daily Homes it's 11,000 email addresses and so what we like to do is to really say okay we know about this home coming out and I just did it actually we, there was a home that, that we had a, a couple that was relocating we put it out to the list and uh, and we had a buyer who gave us a call came in to see it twice before listing the home they said we want to put an offer in and lo and behold win-win situation the other thing on our team is that we handle that situation with two different agents try and keep as much distance as possible from uh, from really the buyer and seller and uh, and not speaking to both because I think there's a lot of problems and you might have heard horror stories about something called multiple representation where the same agent is between the buyer and seller how do they really know they're being taken care of? So we always want to have at least, we can't help it's under the team umbrella, but we want to make sure that we have as much separation as possible. And we've had a lot of good battles on our team between buyers and sellers that were both our clients because we really want to feel at the end of the day like everybody got treated uh, fair with respect and that they got the best deal they possibly could. So anyway, Silent Market, if you're interested in finding out if we might have a buyer for your house before you list it, 
please give us a call or send us an email. And uh, those are some of the ways that we can help you. And uh, even from a budgeting standpoint, a lot of people ask us, how much is it going to cost? What do we do first? Those are all questions that are fair game too. So please reach out to us if you need help or advice. And we'll see you next month with another episode of the Milton Price Report. Thank you very much.